Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Artsy, and today we are continuing on with Charles Dubronx Oliveira. Here he takes on Michael Chander for the vacant lightweight championship fight. Uh, so I believe Khabib vacates the belt, so now they are fighting for the uh, lightweight title. If you're with us in that last fight, uh, Oliveira taking uh, Tony Ferguson to decision. Uh, so now he fights for the title here after coming off of that win here. So let's get this fight started. Let's see what happened in this one here. I believe Charles Oliveira, the slight favorite here. What was the line? <coughs> yeah, there it is. Chandler plus 110 underdog uh, coming into this fight. Oliveira probably minus 135. There it is, favorite. This fight, very interesting. You would think Chandler has the wrestling advantage, but Oliveira, uh, decent off of his back. Uh, let's see how this fight plays out here. Okay. So Oliveira going to be in the yellow trunks. Chandler going to be in the gray trunks uh, front kick there from a uh, nice right outside low kick right away from Oliveira. 1-2 from Oli uh, Chandler to the body. Another kick to the outside low kick there from Chandler. Right hand there to the body from Chandler. That lead light high kick there from uh, Oliveira. He likes to lift that leg. I wouldn't be surprised if Chandler reaches down to try to grab it. There's a right hand to the body. Chandler very low on those strikes. Another outside low kick there from Oliveira. Right hand to the body again. Big left hook misses. Chandler does a little bit short on his punches. There he's coming up for it and lands a left hook there. It's Oliveira looking to level change here. Let me go back here. So Oliveira looking to level change, gets his head there, turns the corner. Looked like Chandler looking for a guillotine. Trying to prevent him from going there. Chandler working on the guillotine. Looks like it's pretty tight. No, it gets his head out. So now it's Oliveira on top. Four minutes and eight seconds left in round number one. Chandler getting up. Gives up his back a little bit. You don't want to do that against Charles Oliveira. Oliveira on the back here already. Both hooks for Oliveira. Couple of, uh, Oliveira starting to bleed. Oh, uh, Michael uh, uh, Chandler just gets back up, drops him right back down to the ground. Yeah, shouldn't have done that. All right, so Oliver on the uh, on the back with the body triangle, with the body lock here. Nice elbow there from Oliver on the back. Oliver trying to grab the wrist here. I'm just going to fast forward some of this part. Let's see if Chandler can get out of this position. And let's see how he did here. So he gets out. Turns right into the body triangle. And now it's Chandler on top. Uh, trying for a triangle here for Oliveira. Got, puts his arm back in. Now it's Chandler on top. Lets him back up. No, pushes him back down. Cautious there from uh, Chandler. Don't want to really jump into the guard of Oliveira. Makes sense. Right hands there, watch the up kick, right uh, arm there. A couple of nice up kicks there from Oliveira. Uh, late kicks there. So yeah, worth noting that Chandler doesn't want to just jump into the guard of Oliveira. Would have liked to see it. Nice right hand there. Right hand, left hand there from Chandler. Sizing up a right hand, drops him, drops him. 
left hand lands now he's look he's pressuring forward throws this measures him with the the left hand comes across lands that right arm uh, right hand there behind the ear another right arm there uh, right hand there Oliver is in trouble another couple of big right shots there Oliver goes back to his back Chandler wants nothing to do with the ground a big right hand there again another right hand almost to a triangle now it's Chandler on top in uh, full guard right couple of right big right hands there from Chandler Chandler posturing up here Oliver looking for a leg doesn't get it armbar doesn't get it triangle posturing up for Chandler he's okay nice right elbow from Chandler couple of right hands there from Chandler big right hand another right hand there from Chandler again this is what I wanted to see Oliver on his back here giving up minutes Chandler controlling here uh, look look at the his fingers in the gloves there from Oliveira a nice right elbow again from Chandler right hand there now he's standing up again pushing down on the head oh he should have got stayed in half uh, half guard there Oliveira puts him back to full guard look he's just holding on here close guard uh, controlling the posture of Chandler Oliver trying to just regain his composure here Chandler trying to push on the face a little bit trying to get some uh, elevation here just trying to throw some ground and pound he's out watch his right elbow the left elbow there couple of up kicks Uh, jumped in there again tried to throw one last right hand there so round one to Chandler Chandler does slow down a little bit so let's keep an eye out on his cardio here the outside low kick there he, he's bouncing up it was more of a bounce up than anything lands that left hook there another left hook catches him clean <coughs> causes Oliver to shoot Yeah, not a great look from Chandler jumping back there. Lands a left hook there. A leaping left hand measures him. Throws that right hand there. Catches him there around the ear. Yeah, Oliver goes right back to his back. Round number two. Back to Orthodox versus Orthodox. There again with that light lead leg from uh, Oliveira. Right hand there. Oh, he got caught with the left hook. Let's see here. Jump in here. Right hand over the top. Looks like both guys throwing right hands. Chandler misses, but Oliveira comes back with the left hook. Catches him with the left hook. Ch Oliver, uh, Chandler rolls. Right hand over the top. Yeah. Chandler doesn't deal well with this, uh, this pressure here. Got caught there, and he's out. Oliveira comes back from behind, wins from behind, round two TKO there. The place is going nuts. Uh, again, Oliveira came up as a minus 135 favorite. Uh, looks like he won there uh, in second round TKO. Let's see if we can see a replay. Much respect, much respect. All right, come on, let me get a replay here. So, <coughs> so both guys throw right hands. I'm gonna hit the body, and then yeah, just that was a very quick left hook. Nice right hand, a couple of follow ups, nice right elbow, nice right hand lands. Nice technique there, lands a left hook. So uh, deals with some adversity we have Charles Oliver coming back uh, after getting knocked down in round number one uh, Chandler winning most of that round uh, for this specific breakdown though worth noting that Chandler did have a ton of top time again Charles Oliver was rocked there in round number one so you give him a little bit of an excuse but uh, he was just holding on trying to get his uh, clear the cobwebs as they say uh, but pretty complacent off of his back not really able to do much on the on the back 
I think at that point, once you get knocked down, you're sort of trying to recover a little bit, so I get it. What's the point of getting back to your feet when you got to really <coughs> overcome that uh, that round there? And in a five-round fight, I think it's okay to give that round back, especially if you get dropped early. So Oliver comes back in the second round, finishes Chandler by uh, TKO. So we're going to keep watching that. Just worth noting again that he did get dropped and, and just the time on his back. But uh, we'll keep watching. My name is Art C, and this is Fighting Stats. Thanks. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure you smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Uh, you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. Listen to this. We just hit a massive parlay for $29,000 at UFC 297. That is one UFC after 296 where we hit a parlay for $82,000. That's back-to-back -back parlays. We've made $110,000. And how do we do it? We use our exclusive fighting stats. Not available anywhere else. Our exclusive fighting stats gives us information, gives us a big edge over the sports books, and tell us what's going to happen within the fights. We post all that information, our breakdowns, our best bets, over at patreon.com slash fighting stats. Don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe today. Again, my name is Art C. This is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.